Well, if you wanted confirmation that this morning's story about Magic Editor coming to other devices, you didn't have to wait very long because Google literally just posted this to blog.google going over some big changes to their editing suite in Google Photos. And look at that headline. This is really good stuff, guys. AI editing tools are coming to all Google Photos users. Let's scroll down here and we'll talk about exactly what we mean. Starting on May the 15th, Many of our AI-powered editing tools like Magic Eraser, Photo Unblur, and Portrait Light will be available to anyone using Google Photos. Big thing here, no subscription required. Currently, a lot of these things require a Google One subscription. That is going away, and you're going to kind of understand why here in just a little bit. You'll be able to access these features on more devices, including Pixel tablets. If we scroll down, make complex edits with Magic Editor. This is the stuff I literally just talked about. Android Authority did an APK teardown, and we kind of came to this conclusion, or they came to this conclusion, and I brought it to you guys. And we were thinking, you know, maybe next couple of weeks, months, who knows when it's going to happen. And it's happening now. We're getting it announced right now. Last year, they launched Magic Editor, and now May the 15th, all Google Photos users on Android and iOS will get 10 Magic Editor saves per month. To go beyond this limit, you'll need a Pixel device or a premium Google One plan. Now, what's interesting to me about that line is you'll need a Pixel device. They don't say a Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro, just a Pixel device. So when this rolls out, will people with Pixel Fold or other Pixel devices, will they not be required to have that subscription? If so, that would be pretty darn nice for some people. Now they do say that these tools will begin rolling out May the 15th and over the following weeks to all devices that meet minimum requirements. Look out for them in Google Photos to help make your shots picture perfect. Before I go any further, I do want to point out that I've criticized Google heavily for their vague messaging. When they said that Circle to Search was coming to the Pixel Fold, they said it was coming soon. They tend to do this sort of thing, where they just sort of say things and leave us wondering what exactly they meant by it. This time, they gave a date, and I am over the moon about it. So there's a lot to unpack here, right? So on the good side of things, a lot of stuff is becoming free. 9 to 5 Google actually has a full list here, so I'll just reference that. Magic Eraser, Unblur, HDR Effect for Photos and Videos, Portrait Blur, Portrait Light, Color Pop, Sky Suggestions, Cinematic Photos, Styles and Collage Editor, and Video Effects are all becoming free. If you have Google Photos installed, even on an iPhone, you're going to have access to these things. And I think that they're doing this because they know that on the flip side of things with Magic Editor saying you can only do 10 magic edits per month, otherwise you're going to need to have a Google One subscription, I think is going to potentially make some people a little bit frustrated. So they're like, here's some good stuff to offset this one maybe slightly worse thing that we're going to be introducing. But if you didn't see this morning's video, you got to understand something. There's a reason that Samsung's AI features are not going to be free starting in 2025. It's because it costs money to do these things, right? So when you're using Magic Editor or Generative Edit, which is Samsung's version of the exact same thing, this edit is occurring in a data center, and data centers are not free to run. They cost money, so there has to be a way to recoup some of that cost. For Samsung, they're going to do something. For Google, they're going to ask, hey, if you do a lot of this stuff, you're going to have to pay for it. If you have more than 10 edits per month, which is honestly, that's not like a, a, a crazy small amount. Like with my Pixel 8 Pro, I probably do less than 10 of them a month already. So I think most people are probably going to slide underneath that limit. But if you want to, or if you're like me and you already have a Google One subscription, which to me, there's already enough value in that subscription to warrant it already, just for the additional cloud storage. It's going to just be something you can have as much as you want. Now, I do want to point out that 9 to 5 Google also says you need a Pixel or a Google One Premium 2 terabyte or above plan to have unlimited Magic Editor edits. Now, that is not in this blog post, but I'm assuming maybe a contact or they spoke to someone and they got this information. 9 to 5 Google tends to be on point with stuff like this, so that's something that we're probably going to have to just account for. So it's not just going to be the $2 a month plan, right? You're going to need to have probably that $10 a month plan that gives you 2 terabytes of storage and uh, Magic Editor. 
Unless, of course, you have a Pixel, which I, I guess is going to get you in the door as well. So cool for Pixel users. To sort of wrap this thing up, I want to kind of point your mind in a certain direction. Let's think about what features are now free and what feature is going to be sort of paid for. And let's think about the distinction between these, right? So all the features that are becoming free, those are all things that happen on your device. The Magic Editor is the only one of these that happens in the cloud, and it's the only one that Google is going to be kind of charging for. And I think that that should prime your thinking for what you should be expecting in the future. I think we all have to understand that these AI features, until they are running on local hardware, this is going to be a thing. And I would imagine even after it's on local hardware, some people will probably still try to charge for it. But for right now, I think I'm okay with what Google's doing. They're saying, hey, these features are on your device. They're just features they are older anyways. You can just have those. But this new thing, Magic Editor, that does cost us money to run, it's not like Magic Eraser. Every time you use Magic Eraser, nothing happens. But when you use Magic Editor, that does cost Google a tiny, teeny bit of money. And if a lot of people are using it, it would add up to a lot of money. So it does make some sense in that regard. So there you go, guys. I think this is pretty darn big news. And I want to end this video with a specific question. For Pixel Fold users, we were all upset that they sort of skipped us on Circle to Search. Circle to Search is now here. It was a little bit late, but it is here. Magic Editor was another thing that a lot of us wanted. We wanted to see, like uh, the Samsung devices were getting generative edit rolled back to them, things like the Z Fold 5, we wanted that kind of treatment for the Pixel Fold. We wanted Magic Editor on the Pixel Fold, and in about a month, that's going to be occurring. May the 15th, so a month and five days, that is going to be occurring. Once that has happened, how do you think you're going to be feeling about your Pixel Fold. If you're one of those people that said Google has abandoned the Pixel Fold, they've left it behind, they've ignored it, how will you feel at that point? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll drop a link to the 9to5 Google article as well as the Google blog post so that you can read over all of that yourself. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.